Have you heard of the new feature called Global Edit in Illustrator CC 2019? Even though it wasn't meant to be used for this, but it turns out it gives us a new method to draw in symmetry and see the changes live on both sides. In this tutorial, I will show you both this new technique and an advanced method with two lines of symmetry using the transform effect. You can see in my design, I have only created a section of this composition. So we have the wolf head, only one side created. And for the background or this constellation design, we only have a quarter ready. I'm going to show you how to do a single line and two lines of symmetry in Illustrator using two different methods. So first of all, I'm going to select the wolf head and use the reflect tool. For this, the shortcut is O on the keyboard. All you have to do is to click on a center point. So somewhere where you want the center of symmetry to be. Once you've done that, you can start dragging the design itself. Make sure you click on an actual line within the design, not somewhere in between, because in this case, I have just outlines, but no fill colors. So I made sure I clicked on one of the lines. And while dragging, I'm going to hold down Alt or Option and Shift keys. This helps me to keep it aligned and also to make sure it creates a duplicate while reflecting. So I will let go the mouse first, then the keyboard shortcuts. And there we have the perfect duplicate on the right side. Now, this is a technique that means that both sides are still selectable and I can work with them and make changes to them. So for example, if I use the direct selection tool, make a selection here and start moving it around, you can see that the other side by default is not affected. But before making any changes, if I select this whole design on the right side and go to the start global edit option in the properties panel, which is a new feature that was introduced in CC 2019. This will automatically find the matching instance on the left side. Of course, it would work the other way around as well. So the only thing that this feature needs is to make sure that you have a perfect duplicate or another instance of the same group or object in your illustrated document. So it's going to highlight both sides. And what that means, if I now use any features like the direct selection tool, maybe select the ears and just drag them up a bit, see how it updates on both sides at the same time. So even though they are two completely independent groups, Illustrator can make the edits on both of them at the same time, even if you already created a reflection. So not just simply moved it around, but also created the reflection. It still recognizes that the shapes used within these groups are the exact same objects. So let me just demonstrate this with another selection. If I want these to be moved out a bit, you see immediately how it's changing. I can even use the keyboard shortcuts and it's a really cool way to see how everything updates. And I can very quickly make amends and see exactly how the whole composition is going to look like. Once you click away, you automatically exit the global edit feature. So if I click back again, you can see that the left side is not highlighted. And it is important to mention that if I accidentally make any changes, even just the ear, if I just move it a bit further in, now if I select this whole group and go to start global edit, it will tell me it cannot find similar objects. Even just a tiny change means that now I lost the global edit feature for this group. If I go inside the group and select a single object, it will still be able to find the matching equivalent object on the left side, but it won't work on the whole group at the same time. Now, the other method that I've been using before global edit came out was the transform effect. And let me show you how that works here on the background. So I'm going to lock my wolf head and I'm going to have the badge unlock so we can start working with it. And I'm going to do a two line symmetry this time. So with the wolf, we created a single line symmetry, which was in the center. Well, with this badge or constellation in the background, I'm going to do two lines of symmetry, meaning that this quarter that we have on the top left will be duplicated and reflected on all the other three empty sides or quarters. So the way I'm going to do this is by selecting the element that I already have there. 
and then go up to the effect menu and choose distort and transform transform. Once this dialog box comes up, just make sure you turn on preview so you can see what you're doing and then type in one for copies, choose reflect X and choose the reference point that is needed in case you have the element on the left and you want to create uh, the reflection on the right side, then you just simply choose the right edge and vice versa, you would choose the left side if you have already created the right side. So that's how simple it is. You don't have to do anything else. These three options you selected and then you click OK. So the unique aspect of this feature is that the right side is not actually selectable. It's almost like an illusion. Uh, the only thing that we can work with is still just that part on the left side. But whatever we do to that will update on the right side. But to take this one step further, we see that we have the transform effect edit here in the appearance panel, but I'm going to create an additional transform effect for the bottom half. So I go up to the effect menu and choose transform. Whenever you use an effect, it's always quicker to access it from the top, but make sure you click on the dot 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 version. So not the apply transform, because that would just immediately do exactly the same thing. So the same settings, while whenever you see dot dot dot, that means it brings up a dialog box and change the settings, what we will need to do in this case. And because it's the same exact effect that we used before, Illustrator is asking us, do we want to just work with the previous one or are we sure that we want to add an additional one? In this case, I'm going to say yes, apply a new effect. Again, turn on preview. I would love Illustrator to remember having that preview on <laughs> because every time I want to use an effect, I want to see a live preview. So I don't know why it just can't remember having that option on. But yeah, anyways, let's just change the reflect X to reflect Y this time and select the bottom reference point. So but the bottom center reference point is what we need. The copies is still set to one. That's perfect. And there you go. Now we can just click OK and having just one quarter of the design created originally. Now we have all of the sides ready. The still what applies is that only the left side is actually selectable. The other details are just illusions relying on the effects that we created here. Now let me turn off my guides and let me show you one additional thing that is brilliant about working this way. If I want to add any elements later on to the background, I can simply place them inside the group. So this was created as a group and the effect is applied to the group. And the way you can tell that is by checking your layers panel. And whenever you see a little circle that is filled, so you see the other circles are empty. This circle here is filled. That means it has an effect on it. So it's not just the basic appearance, stroke and fill, but it has something more complex to that. In this case, this is the transform effects. So because we have the effects on the group, if I double click on this group, meaning we go inside it and work in the isolation mode, if I place anything inside the group, you notice it automatically shows up on all the other corners or quarters. So if I move this star maybe here, we can see it updating. I can move this other star in here and I can make it smaller, alt click and drag, even duplicate it. And I can work and build up the whole design just working on one of the quarters. And by double clicking outside, I can exit the isolation mode. So as long as you work within the group, which has the two transform effects on it, you will be able to make any amends and it will automatically be reflected on all the other quarters. So both the global edit and the transform effect are great ways to be able to work in symmetry using Illustrator. Let us know in the comment section what would you like us to cover next time on this series. Click on the link in the description or the join button to become a member if you want to work on future projects with us and see the whole design or illustration process live. Thanks a lot for watching. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Have fun learning guys and I will see you in the next one.